Hello people, Gerdy here. If it's difficult, scary and out of your comfort zone, do it anyway. When you want to create a life that is more meaningful, and that life, <coughs> excuse me, that meaningful life is different, is really different from the way you've been living it. It requires you to break rules that you've been living in accordance with, that you've been following for, well, pretty much for your entire life. That is going to take you out of your comfort zone. And stepping out of your comfort zone is uncomfortable and it is scary. Breaking rules that you've been following all your life is uncomfortable and it is scary. Breaking rules that um, Breaking rules that you have followed in your family or in your career or in the society that you live in in order to start living a life that's much more in line with what you think is meaningful, what you consider successful. There's no getting around it. For most of us that's uncomfortable, it's scary and it brings us at the very least up against the edges of our comfort zone and probably out of there. But if and when, when you want to live a more meaningful life, when you want to live a life that's successful on your terms, where you have defined what success means to you and you strive to accomplish that, to achieve that, That's the way you have to go. And it starts by acknowledging what your comfort zone looks like. You could almost say what the problem is, but I think that goes too far. But it is good to look at the life you're living right now and determine what the gap is between the two between the life that you're, as you're living it right now and a life that you would consider more meaningful, a life that you would consider successful on your terms, where you have defined what success means to you. And when you have defined the gap, when you acknowledge what the problem is, why you are feeling so restricted, why you are feeling caged or confined within the life as you're living it. Only then can you see which changes, what changes, excuse me, you have to, oh, you have to start making on uh, the changes you can make. And which are going to be the changes that are going to take you up against and past the edges of your comfort zone. And it can't be helped. I know it's going to be scary. It is going to be uncomfortable. And there's not much that can be done about that because that's just the way it is. It is always uncomfortable to come up against the edges of your comfort zone and have to move uh, beyond it to get to where we want to go. I have not yet met anybody who is comfortable leaving that space where you've lived for so long, where you have done things in a certain way for so long. And anybody who says 
that's not unco that it is not uncomfortable. I'm going to be so bold as to say that they're lying. So. When you want to change the way you're living your life, when you want to live a life that is more meaningful because you are working to achieve your definition of success, a, suc a success that is uniquely yours because you have defined what that looks like for you, not your parents, not your friends, not your family, not your co-workers, but you. You are going to get close to and beyond the edges of your comfort zone. You are going to have to break some rules. And it's going to be scary and uncomfortable. I've said that already, haven't I? Anyways, take a small step. Don't just, and I've said this before, don't just change everything all at once. Take little steps. And once you start taking little steps, all of a sudden you will find that you have gone a lot further beyond those edges than you thought you ever would. And I can, uh, it's literally like climbing a mountain. Let me see if I can, yeah, I, no, I can't. Let me, uh, I'll just, let me see if I can turn around the camera. I'm not quite sure, but you see that mountain in the back there and the waterfall. You can't see it, but there's a trail that goes up from all the way from the bottom of the valley over there and then up underneath those power lines along towards the waterfall and then along the waterfall further on up. And as with stepping out of your comfort zone, just like it, uh, let me see, come on, come back. As with stepping out of your comfort zone, the only way you are going to climb up that mountain is by taking small steps. And even after, God, more than a decade, 15 years, of climbing mountains, of going up trails and mountains like that, it never ceases to amaze me how quickly you go up a mountain, even though you are taking small steps. Don't be afraid. Well, you can be afraid, but try do it anyway step out of that comfort zone if you really want to break out of the confinement of the rules that have been put upon you by society and everybody else because it feels like you're living in a straitjacket take a couple of small steps you can do this you've got this as always go there greatly <laughs>